What's cracking, big dogs? Welcome back to the Town Get Down Weekly Recap Podcast. We have some incredible new segments for you today. We have been, uh, what are you doing over there, Max? You're creeping me out already. We're five seconds into the fucking just, podcast. Just moving some stuff. <laughs> okay. okay, we'll ignore that for now. He's going to get a flag. No, shit, flags are thrown already. Um, so, first order of business. First order of business, Mr. Kareem Hunt. I, I put out an individual video about Kareem Hunt earlier this week. And I hesitate to make videos on subjects like that because no matter what I say, I can have 10,000 people, like that was good unbiased analysis, but there will always be someone who's like, fuck you, bro, that was <laughs> racist, that was sexist, that was fucking all the ists. And I don't know what, I don't know what to do because it makes me feel like I'm a bad fucking person. Right? And it's a topic you got to talk about. There's right. no in between. Yeah, I can literally go like, guys, I'm going to keep this anti-political. I'm going to talk about fantasy. And someone's like, fuck you for not getting political. You Trump supporter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's always <laughs> something. It doesn't matter what you do. Um, so what we're going to try to do here is stick to uh, to only politics. Right? We're not, we're not going to talk about fantasy. Well, I mean, I, it was designed to be a fantasy show, but politics is really what's Big moving the needle. The, so this is what we're, we're going to stick to. Yeah, we realize that that's what you guys want. I've gotten a lot of emails that actually uh, support us running yeah. in the next election. Uh, we they didn't... saw the way we were dressed and the way we were composed on air, and they thought there would not be better suited candidates. So yeah. we're going to run with that. Who would represent the country better? Yeah. Um, I could probably name a few people. Not yeah. many, though. I'm sure there's a pretty long list. Ah, debatable. Eh. We'll, <laughs> debatable. We'll leave that up for the market. The yeah. market is the market is the market. Yeah. They'll decide. If you agree, put it in the comments below. So, yeah, so what we <laughs> wanted to do today was uh, gather some of, you know, because every time something major happens in the world, this is, the, this is easily my favorite part about being a millennial, being our age. The best thing we've ever brought to the world are memes and gifts. <laughs> yeah, it's by far. Agree? By I mean, far. probably, yeah. It, it, there's nothing better that we've done. I the, don't think we've contributed. The people, much. the characters on the internet, and what they do for humanity nowadays is literally second to none. Me and me and Steve, my my friend Steve, we always talk about like we'll just be sitting somewhere, and Steve's like, "Yo, like, what would you do if I don't know, like a meteor was about to come down to Earth?" And I'd be like, "I don't know, I don't give a fuck, but the memes would be fucking fire <laughs> yeah, if you're in that situation." <laughs> yeah, that's like the and, first thing we think. And of. they really Dude, would be it's true. So what we want to kind of kick this off with are uh, some of our favorite memes or gifts that we saw on the interwebs about Kareem Hunt. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play these for you guys, but I'm going to start off with my favorite one. And this was from at Burrow, Trey Burrow, I guess. Shout out, Trey. Kareem Hunt is done for his career. Will probably be over with. And then it's the fucking Redskins eating their snack like Russell Westbrook in the back. Because you know their asses wanted to sign. If this so was 1996... Every team was throwing a waiver in for him. The Russell Westbrook one was my clear-cut number one favorite. Good. Wasn't even close. Like I, the little fat black kid, too, who yeah. like does the little eyes. He like looks yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. both ways. Like, live it's, look at Tyreek Hill. Just, just like outside the Kareem Hunt thing, it's just so amazing how one gif could represent so many different things in the way. It's, so it's, just, it's amazing. That ain't no problem. Lonzo. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. Oh, you know what's funny? Like... I didn't realize that Tyree Kill literally punched his pregnant girlfriend in like, the stomach. And choked her. Like, that's so intense. But yeah. The, but the choke is like, okay, that's really abusive. But, like, the punch to a pregnant woman's stomach? Yeah. It's, like, it's kind that's, of, like, comical. It's uh, beyond fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I, what do you, like... Like, me... We're not on video, head. so that's why... We, like, why joke about that with our friends. It's like, I'm, like, 26. I've, I'm not even close to thinking about making a girl pregnant. And we'll be like, yo, we'll, we'll like, what would you do if your girl got pregnant? I'd be like, I'd punch her straight in her fucking <laughs> fat stomach. Yeah. <laughs> It's a joke. Get out. Happens. It's a joke, people. Until Tyreek Hill goes out and yeah, he does it. Yeah, bitches in this fucking stomach who are pregnant. Anyways, uh, that's not what we're here for. We don't condone that. Don't do that to your girlfriends, your wives, your sister, any females in your immediate um, physical space. Anyone outside your physical space, fucking fair game. Baby. Do it. Punch away. Um, I saw, um, it wasn't a meme. It was just like a Ray Lewis like comment. Oh my god! Don't even get me started on that and motherfucker, please. It said there's no place for violence in the NFL. Yeah. Cream should be banned. Yeah, that motherfucker had the Ray audacity Lewis to say that. said that. Ray Lewis, murder, yes. alleged, murder, alleged, murder, allegedly, murdered. Allegedly. OJ Simpson was clear cut innocent. That yeah, I know. We should do a segment. Ray Lewis where we was not. People through kick court. <laughs> Ray Lewis is a murderer. <laughs> and maybe I'm a little bit more biased, but when I was eight years old, the Giants won the Super Bowl and they lost 34-7. That murderer shouldn't have been on the field. 
You know what a difference that makes? I mean, he's a murderer. You think he's a twenty-seven point difference? <clears throat> uh, yeah. I don't know about the Giants that. were fucking afraid to get on the field because they thought they were gonna get fucking sliced. Listen, he didn't kill anybody. He was just there when it happened. There's a huge difference. He ordered the hit. Is there? Is there? <laughs> there's, there's a huge difference. You're right. an idiot. I'm done. So <laughs> that aside, Kareem Hunt from uh, from an NFL conduct standpoint. All right, over under Kareem Hunt being back on the field in an NFL game. 2019, week nine. Before or after? Before, definitely. I was going to say under, but because yeah. you said that, I'm going to say over. I'm going to go with... Just to be that guy? I'm going to go with a push. Guy. I think he gets on the field week, week nine. nine next Trade that lines around what? So he's going to be... He's that, be, that's when teams really start. He's going to be... Uh, I mean, he could sign. He's free to sign with whoever right now. He's on the exempt list until whenever they want to take him off. They Question. will suspend him next year. They will give minimum. him a minimum six games. Apparently, they're going to lay the hammer, though, and extend that suspension. Uh, I don't know what grounds. Like, I don't know what the fucking rule behind it is. But yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming if six is the minimum, and I heard like reports that they're going to try to set an example on that, that it's going to be at least eight, if not more. Minimum. It's got to start minimum. Now, does he season. have to be signed with the team for the suspensions to start? Because if he's a free agent, then yeah, they, so I someone mean, he's got to miss games. So if he's not on a team, yeah. So a someone team. has to pick him up and then let him knowing, sit, knowing well he's going to be suspended. My, mm-hmm. my question is like the contract though, because if a team claimed him off waivers, right, they would get the six hundred thousand dollar contract or whatever for Kareem on his rookie deal, right? Yeah. If he signs now because he's free to sign with anybody. Do they does, does he get to negotiate a new contract or does he just pick up his because he was released? I don't know the details on it, but I'm going to pretend gonna like say, I do and say that he negotiates a new deal. Yeah, he was released. That's money. Yeah. You know how fire the memes are going to be. Oh he my gets god, a better better. Deal it always comes back to right? memes. Yeah. Like, dude, it's going to be amazing. Beat up some chick and get paid more money for yeah. it. You could use the Russell Westbrook gift for it. Exactly. Exactly. Like literally, oh, uh, Kareem Hunt's career is done. Blah 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 blah. He's released from his contract. He's eating the snacks. He just signs a, a, a two year, six million dollars. He's going to end up getting, getting a bigger more contract. Oh, yeah, he might. Ridiculous. Now, I mean, I, I wrote, Who's going to want to pay him a lot of money, though, with that risk? Maybe Someone maybe will. not a lot, but somebody might take a fly for a year and say, here, re- re- rehabilitate yourself. There's going to be a team that probably finds out yeah. the scoop a little earlier than everyone else on what the suspension length is going to yeah. be. And then depending on that, that's how risky they're going to be. So get. I wrote this down. I think the Giants should sign Kareem Hunt. And I think they should run like a wing, uh, a wishbone with Odell, Saquon, and Kareem Hunt. I think they should really revolutionize offense even more than my uncle, well, I guess my cousin. So you're, so you're talking about like the 04 Miami Dolphins? The Wild yeah, Cat. but a lot better. The Wildcat <laughs> with better players. Yeah. Literally. Did that's, you that's not see revolutionizing? No, I disagree. You're taking a step backwards. Your Giants offense is already like pretty bad. Disagree. Just so, put up 30 points against also, the best team in football. No, also get a no you guys beat show? Chase Daniels. It's Daniel, first of all. Chase Fuck Daniel. Yeah. It's even less, not even plural. Yeah. Okay. It's even you know less what? Impressive. Chase Daniel. And okay. yeah. I think we should I think we should segue into our newest segment. The newest segment. I can't believe that idea. That was such a good idea. Did you not see Odell throw it? Go ahead. It's a fucking idea. Actually, you know, he's a pretty good quarterback. He's, he's, just, he's too for two. for that. Just let him fucking play quarterback. Mm-hmm. This next section is called Wine About It. We're gonna pour ourselves a glass of BDGE yeah. aged to perfection wine. Let me get a little bit of that. This has been aged. Oh, since. nice pour. That was nice. I'm a little Italian. small. You know what, what you're doing. You Where's the you, scotch over you there? You need a towel, though. You need to... Fill me up, bitch. I've had a long day. I guess I cheated myself. You, uh, yeah. You're going, going extra. So, uh, these, these wine bottles are not for sale yet, but next season, you can bet your fucking ass they will be in the Shopify store. Guys, salute. Salute, boys. Oh, yeah. That's, that's wine. Love you guys. Thank you for sticking around. Um, so, wine about it. Is a section where we fucking just Ooh, whine. We're, gonna, we're gonna whine about some good, some right? stuff in the fantasy football world. We just whine about shit that happened in our. Uh, should we do the matchups first or wine first? No, I'm gonna talk about the whining first because mine is gonna tie into my matchup. Okay. Because then, uh, then let's go. Me is you, and we can go right into matchups. I love it. Or unless you want to go first. I don't care. I mean, I, I was trying to think what I want about. I really love my team. That they're, they're my guys. Most of them I drafted. So I'm just gonna bitch about how bad Austin Eckler is. Okay, well I'm gonna whine about it, dude. I'm gonna whine about Stefan Diggs. Please, I'm gonna whine about Stefan Diggs. All right, so twice so far this year, I've heard this is what I've seen on reports, quote unquote. (laughs) I will absolutely be out there on Sunday. First time, he didn't make it out there on Sunday. That was week whatever eight. This week, 
How does a fucking knee flare up overnight while you're laying in bed? Does anyone understand that? You practice all week and then you stop practicing and all of a sudden Saturday night into Sunday night, he just wakes up with a swollen knee. He must have not been icing it. I don't know. He was doing something else. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. What the fuck else was <laughs> Stefan Diggs doing that Saturday night? There was something else he was doing. It had to have been. Are you he saying he was doing Where something on his knees? That wasn't where I was going with this. I mean, I'm just I'm asking. That wasn't where I was. It is a funny it. coincidence, though. That what Adam Thielen is on his team. Okay, we're gonna get into that after you <laughs> stop bitching about Stefan Diggs. Because have I ever bitched about Adam Thielen missing a game? No, because he hasn't missed games. He just fucking flukes in them. Yeah. <laughs> Dab on him. Drink your wine. Okay. Yeah. So Stefan Diggs is a piece of shit. First of all, because I was forced to sit him. Not that it mattered because I still won by seventy five. Overtook first place in points, and I'm in the playoff picture. But Sorry, you know when Stefan Diggs fucking. When you hear these reports, not only am I like, there's no way I'm playing him because he doesn't play well when he is hurt. Now I'm like, okay, this could be a multi-week thing that just lingers and bothers him and shit. But he's out there. It doesn't look like anything fucking bothering him. I told everyone to sit him. But, I mean, he only went 549, so I guess that was kind of not a bad thing on my part. But, like, I, I just don't understand these fucking injury reports that happen. If anyone has breaking news on why Stefan Diggs' knee randomly flared up overnight, drop a comment down below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button. Love you. Nick. What you whining about? Yeah, well, that's a good wine. Um, I'm sorry <laughs> to wine, sorry to hear about Stefan Diggs hurting your feelings. Um, I've My only feelings. been I've only been advocating for Adam Thielen all these weeks. Everybody knows I love the man. I would do anything for him and his wife and his foundation and his kid. Um, <laughs> but that's not what I'm here to whine about. I have loved my team all year. Uh, why wouldn't I? I've lost. <laughs> well, now I've lost four games, second most in points. I should not be where I am. I'm going to whine about Melvin Gordon's injury. Um, I know it's not his fault, but I really miss him. Um, I'm really excited for them to put him in. That's debatable. His not his fault. What? What, do you what are you talking about? Reverse? First he of all, did you— He forced the coaches to put him in the game when he wasn't feeling okay, well. But why the fuck— you, The coaches know that he's hurt. Why are you running reverse where any fucking miserable fucking defender can just blow his knee out? Just sh- that's Stop. Stop. And his backup, Austin— Austin— Stone, not Stone Cold Steve Austin, I can tell you that. Eckler is a piece of shit. Maybe it's not his <laughs> fault, too. Stone Cold he's Steve he's the anti-Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's, oh, my God. He's, right he's cunt-faced, miserable Eckler, Austin Eckler. I don't even, I, I can't even say his name without getting my my blood boiling. I didn't realize Mike McCoy was still the head coach in San Diego. Yeah, they we, just we run him off the middle. Yeah. Do they not? Do they, I'm, he's, I'm scared. Yeah. Do they not no. understand? No, I'm <laughs> fucking angry. And I was going to get into Urban Meyer too, but this is not a college podcast because I hate that motherfucker too. Sorry, I've had a rough few days. <laughs> Tweet about it. Well, I'm going to. Tr- follow me on at yeah, snacks, sure you're following snacks all on underscore BDG, please. You know, I, I think I've really liked the just the nickname before the BDG rather than Max and Nick. Like I think about animal and snacks. Is oh really yeah, it's perfect. Better, better. Much well, he originally he put snacks, and I saw. I was like, "Fuck, I'm gonna change my name." Animal. Yeah, I, I know. Every time it. I go to tag you in something, I type Max, and I no, see your old. Come on, but I anyway, see, yeah, I, well, I see the <laughs> fucking guy who took Max the animal. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I've, been, him more. I've been trying to talk to that guy. Yeah. I'm trying to get him. Give so him that, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna summarize my wine segment uh, after <clears> this quick sip. Fuck, Austin Eckler. Okay, how you feeling about him this week? Actually, we'll get that in the matchup. Yeah, please. Week. Fuck him. I ain't going to say anything nice about him. Go All ahead. right, so I'm going to whine about... It's. I mean, it's definitely football-related, but TMZ. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, TMZ. I get it. It's wrong. It shouldn't have happened. Why'd you have to release it now? Bro, they, re- they released another one today. Did you see that? Of him fighting no. someone in the club? Him getting like... Oh, the guy that he... Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, like, I want to know who has these videos. <clears throat> Like Dude. who? Who just is keeping all these? You know what? You got to be one of his boys. I was, I was thinking this Beyond too. Ninjas. I was really thinking nah. this too. Think I so? wish to God selling them out in a little dough. Probably. Not. I would. I'd sell you out in a heartbeat for a fucking couple mil. <laughs> you think I, they're getting a couple mil for a shitty video like that? Dude, TMZ oh probably. God. Dude, Jeez. are you kidding what? me? Yeah. They just ruined the guy's life. Like TMZ a hundred grand, ruin. maybe. They live to ruin. Grand, grand. Dude, for a video? No way. Yeah. No way. You know, dude, that probably. But still, you're not gonna take a hundred grand for that. Oh, absolutely. I'm saying it's gonna be more. Shit, I would kill you. I want to be that guy. I want to show be... them a video of me kicking my mom's ass for a hundred grand. Hell yeah! I do uh, it for like a hundred Max, bucks. come on, guys. Max, come I, w- on, guys. I would do There's it. No fucking. No. I would never. Kick a my night out, ass an, for the a, a really good night out in New York City costs about one forty if you do it right. Probably a lot more if it's Wait, a really good night. I was out in New York fucking Saturday night. Oh, yeah, it's probably more. I actually kind of want to get yeah. in there. Yeah. So, so, so here's here's where I would I would set the bar at one hundred and seventy five dollars for you. A That's video it. That's you the minimum. Can, the ma- well, I'm sure I'd get a lot more. It's just. That's what I would. I would. I gotta be careful. I like this. Do anything around I want to be that lucky dude that that catches. You guys want to send me any offers? Like the fucking. 
keep in mind Kill Max. this is send him to my DMs. This is this is all my, my place here, so if it's I'm actually, gone, it's actually our place. Your now. perfect decoration will keep you. <laughs> if I'm gone, back. yeah, all right. People I'll like, know what people I'll, do when they I'll like Skype this. in or something like that from yeah. an unknown location. So, no, so, I mean you'll literally be hanging. From oh, the going that far now. So, you, yeah. so you, you really have it out for for TMZ. I'm just upset that they released it now. Like, how long have they been sitting on it for? They're like, oh, fancy playoffs are coming up. Fuck everybody who likes fancy football. I actually it couldn't have been that way. They they had to have just figured it out and then put it up. I don't you know. It's know, been out. They knew about this since February, right? Everyone knew about it. Yeah, but it's not. Teams even say they were they've been sitting on the fucking. Video. They don't like fancy football people. I will say one of my brother's friends' Maybe name. Really, like one of my one of my brother's friends' name is Jake. He actually brought up a great point. Um, he thinks he knows who released the video, and I don't think I could agree more. Hotel I think hotel. it was Bill Belichick. Yeah, the hotel. I think Belichick got his hands on that video and released it. How do you think Bill Belichick went about getting the video? We're starting some conspiracy theories. It's Bill Belichick. Tell me, now. tell me a story it's about It's literally Bill Belichick. Bill I want to hear a story about how Belichick. Bill, Uncle Bill, goes into that hotel and comes out of that hotel with that tape. Not I don't think camera. necessarily he did it. I think he found the person who had it, who was going to sit on it and not sell it. He found him, paid him considerable amount of money, said, you're going to release this to TMZ. My name will not be attached. Bill's and so smart. He, dude. Bill's smart, but this your guy, friends are fucking on another level. Genius. Of dude, they do drugs quality. and they think. Like, this is, <laughs> like, it's it's literally perfect. He saw them as their biggest threat, right or wrong. Oh, I mean. Correct. He's probably, derailing yeah, that team. He AFC? wants to win another Super Bowl. This is the same guy who was taping practices, and this man will do anything. Yeah, I mean, a lot of teams I, did that. Not to defend the page. Broncos are guilty of... Broncos suck Falcons dick. are pumping fucking fake news. Yeah, things. really. Come on. Giants don't do anything illegal. We're a class organization. Except Eli just fucking, fucking sells fraudulent autographed uh, <laughs> yeah. memorabilia. Uh, yeah. Uh, he was it was found... like right after he won Man of the Year, too, I think. So that Yeah, was... right. He, Wait, was, he found was, was found innocent. He was found innocent? Yeah. Who else was found innocent? Who? Ray Lewis. No. Yeah. No. Ooh. Dude, Ooh. obstruction Ooh. of justice. Sir. Sir. Ooh. No. <laughs> okay, we're talking about murder and fake fucking merch. Yeah. Big, big time crimes. Both of them. Both okay. of them. I think the fake time, lifetime. the fake merch is probably the life. Probably you, know, worse. you guys are gonna really start getting me to start whining. The about fake a lot merch definitely more. affects way more people. Didn't affect me. I'm fucking a worse off person for it. Do we sound like terrible people right now? I'm sticking up for people. You are fucking. I sound up. like a piece. Eli of shit. Manning is a is a family man. He's a good man. He's a decent man. And you are trying to ruin his reputation. He probably listens to this fucking thing too. I'm sure he does. I love you, out, Eli. Out of control. <laughs> All right. We went off. Okay. All right, let's, so, let's, let's get, let's get back recap. on track. Yeah. Get into the recap. So Max is whining about Kareem Hunt. The TMZ reason he's whining Hunt. about TMZ, Kareem Hunt, whatever, the entire situation is because he owns Kareem Hunt. And uh, <clears throat> his fantasy team, Powerful. you went sub-hundo. I had a terrible, you terrible went sub week. fucking hundo on the week. And his- leading to a second straight loss? Yes. Yes, indeed. So... Whereas in last week, you know, I was I was down in the dumps when we came on this podcast. I was depressed. I was thinking about leaving, walking off the show if I didn't get a fucking raise. <laughs> but but this week, yeah. your boy swung back in a big motherfucking way. I'm happy for you, Nick. Thanks, man. I I'm appreciate not. that. I would have been really sad if like we had to keep doing this podcast into the playoffs and I didn't make the playoffs. That'd be really fucking. Depressing. Well, when I lose first round, it's gonna. It's just. It's, it's, it's gonna be good for me. It's shit, gonna I mean, suck. You're gonna have lots of wine. We might get you a couple of bottles just for yourself. <laughs> so let's look at. Uh, yeah. So so Max fucking took the L. Jason took a dub. Two game winning streak for the guy in ninth place. Oh, Steve won this week too, right? That's oh. what I was saying. It's the most grotesque fantasy was, match. Pull that up. For this them, was an ugly, ugly week. Football it was, wise, it was. fantasy it was wise. Ugly. Like games that you did, you teams that you thought were going to lose. You should have started Hunt. I still principle. have him just in case. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's also yeah, shitty about that? that? <laughs> we're also forgetting about that. And we, we've said it in previous weeks. You traded a second round pick for him. Yes, I am aware. That's why it makes it so but much But you didn't worse. mention it just now. That makes this even shittier. Yeah, well. Oh, true. Who else thanks. did you get? Or who did you trade? What, what else was I got else Goff that and Cream Hunt. Bad. And Bad. Uh, Cra- Michael Crabtree, who I don't have anymore. Bad trade. I mean, it's a bad trade it was now. Bad at the time, it was soon great as you got at the him, time. Hunt was like disagree. One of the top running backs. I mean, there's not yeah. really much you can disagree on. There. Is there any team in particular you want to see him play for next? Kareem Hunt. Yeah, just like uh, I could really care less. Yeah, I don't care. Um, I was thinking, sure. I because I, I was thinking about this last night where I want to see Bell play. So I, I figure like throw Hunt in there too. Yeah. Really. Sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah. 
I like what the Colts are doing there. You don't need a fucking cancer in the locker room. Scoring zero points. They scored zero points. One. F- oh my god, Max. Normally I'm on your side in, in agreement, but you're you're not. I'm, I'm fired up tonight. You're not. So am I. But you're not being intelligent tonight. That's oh, what happens? And Andrew Luck scored zero points. Who owns Andrew Luck? Me. Who sat Andrew Luck? Yeah, we know. Me. Oh. Why don't we look at this fucking score? Your man fucking puts Joe in the fucking dirt, baby. Comes up with a 70-point dub. This is not good for me. Is loses. Max loses. Fucking Eric loses. Your boy is back in the playoff picture. As long as I take a dub next week, I'm what, in. What is that scenario? You lose, George wins, right? That's the only thing that gets George in. I don't know, but there's like... George has to win by like a lot. No. I if think. George wins and Nick loses, George is in. George regardless has, of points. Has, we have a tied record right now. Oh, okay. But the likelihood of me losing... Is zero to none. Yeah, because I'm playing against Deech. I'll throw the matchup Listen, on the screen right you now. You can say that, but I thought I had a lock this week. I was no. projected 140 to 120. Max, I will suck your dick if Nick loses. Oh, my oh, God. Well, I don't that's how really, confident I am. That's on air. It's not even like an offer I want. <laughs> like, if you're going to offer... There's you gotta, no way. Deech's team already sucks. That is not enticing to me I know all. I'm not going to lose. Yeah, but I don't want to even gamble with that. I will buy you a blowjob from... That's pretty good. That's, that's illegal. Oh, you know, just, oh God, God. Dude, this is so it's illegal. Oh can I? Can we whine about Max's? We're gonna go back to the stupidity tonight. <laughs> We're gonna whine about fucking Max over here. <laughs> this this show is not PG fucking twelve. But yes, Nick has the ideal matchup. I'm playing against Deech, who already his team sucks, and now the only player he had that was good was James Conner out. Yeah, Cole McCoy was his quarterback too out. I'm I'm thinking about picking up Ryan Tannehill just for the fucking sake of picking him up over Deech. So it's a fucking mortal lock of the century. Can I use my lock of the century pick this week on my fucking fantasy game? Um, uh, no, no, probably we're, not. We're gonna need an NFL because people people can't bet on that. What the fuck? Just just saying. Actually, know. we should start. Excuse me. We should start that. We should have our listeners starting to bet on our games. We'll make we'll make out we'll, we'll make lines and stuff, and they could they could bet. I like that. Maybe we make some money off them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you suckers. <laughs> <laughs> So that's good, yeah. So uh, I- I'm basically a fucking walking dub right now. I'm gonna be in the playoffs, and I'm gonna jump over whoever <laughs> walking dub. Oh, whenever Ooh. whoever one of you guys. So I'm gonna play the winner of your game in the first round of playoffs. So me and you are not playing. I yeah, would like. To... I'm gonna play the loser of them. Yeah. I would wow. like to not I would play re- you. Yeah. I would really. So I really hope lose. you lose. You want to lose, but you don't. Not want. by too much. Yeah. Because <laughs> just by. So enough. George is in oh, fifth place fuck, right now. I don't want to play Joe. George is in fifth place right now, but he is down to max by seventy points. Down to Joe by 35 points. Max and Joe play each other. So one of those teams is going to end up with the same record as George, assuming George wins. But George is going to be down a point. So George needs a monster week to sneak into the playoffs. Um, so as long as I win, one of them is automatically going to lose. I'll jump them. So it'll be first place. Sec- winner of their game will be second place. Third place. Loser of their game will be fourth place. Uh, Most likely. Yeah. Uh, assuming that George doesn't have a yeah. monster fucking week. Um, so that's the most likely so, scenario. I'd, I'd get you if you lose. Yeah, I don't want to play you. I want to play you. I'll play you in the finals. I would love to play fucking one of you. I'm, I'm glad I'm not playing you first round. Mm. I'll, I should have Gordon back. But speaking of which, I just let me revert back to that real quick. I, there's no reason to play him this week. No, they're they're playing not, they're, Cincinnati. They're going to, though. I feel that's like. just, what are they doing to this fucking guy? Mm-mm. They're not gonna. I saw there, there's no way that, like, you could play him this week. Him. There's no, no way. Gonna, what's his name? Justin. Justin uh, you never know. He'll push it. He'll push Justin Jackson or whatever. Gonna get the bulk. He's a goat. Did you see they already had like the thing about Eckler saying like, "Oh, he's tired." Yeah, he's tired. And trust and me, I, I Eckler know. Eckler saying, he's "I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm, like, I, he's not really meant to be in between the, the tackles." Lynn said he's that like, today. Yeah, worn out. The game yeah. To last he goes, "He's yeah. a little worn down. He's mostly a special teams player." For yeah. Us. Like, shut the fuck up. Player. Just shut the fuck up. I'm so sick of this fucking team. <laughs> Melvin Gordon. Was, I need you, Melvin. Yeah, you please. Yeah, you do. I, this is the reason I like where I'm at right now is because all y'all have like problems on your teams. Literally. Yeah. And you know what's funny? Last week I was saying how I really like the way my team's shaping up with Galladay, who's got nobody else that Stafford's throwing the ball. Ebron's clear cut target. He had Ebron's like 50, the one that really scared like me if we 50 play. fucking targets like, yes, uh, Sunday. Yeah. I didn't realize Eckler was so fucking atrocious. Like Melvin Gordon comes back, I, I'm completely fine. I am confident in my team. Yeah, your team is stacked if, if Melvin Gordon's back. That's why. So it's like... Your team is hurting without Hunt. My team's fucked. Joe's team. Joe's team is still pretty good. Joe's but team's I'm pretty, pretty sure. Good. Like on any given week, as long as McCaffrey or Barkley like has a down game, any either he's, three of he us could will be screwed. Be I would. I would have thought he would have. I mean, he's got a considerable amount of points, but for the team that 
he Dude, I was has, looking at the league standings and like. Us three are around, what are we at, like 2,000-ish points? I'm on 2,000. Yeah. I, mean, I have 2,001. This yeah. week hurt me. So we're all, like, give or take around 2,000. Like, Steve in last place is 1,300. We've almost played, like, a full half a season more than It's Steve. ridiculous. Like, I don't even remember he's in the league. It's I, I, Steve, I love so you, but... Dude, Steve I'm won pissed. 89 to 74. It's the worst fantasy. I'm pissed game. that we did 5K <laughs> as a fucking punishment. So am I. I, I hate well, it. Well, sorry, but... I hate that. I voted for waterboarding. I, so I voted for you the, the bodybuilding thing. 5K was not even on my top. Well, I think I voted bodybuilding too. It was Probably. bodybuilding. Or, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Waterboarding, bodybuilding, uh, 5K. I didn't hate the lemonade stand. I hated it. I didn't I, hate I it. That, I didn't like that either. I didn't hate Stupid. it. You have to make a certain amount of money before you could leave. I thought that was fucking But I want hysterical. public humiliation. Yeah. That is pretty public humiliation. Were well, you guys going to stand there and watch them sell lemonade? No one's going to come by. It's going to be weird as hell. If you do it on a main road, no, I guess. But we already did that with like Joe. I yeah, want something did, miserable to the point where like, fuck, you really don't want to get last place. We have to do that. Like, so he's gonna get last place, and he's just gonna be like, oh, whatever. I have to like. Do yeah, but it's it's all about the that costume. Gonna, yeah, we should the costume. We also but a lot of people do that in five Ks. They dress up like already. Yeah, but it's got to be bad. Like, it's got to be like, a, but see, it's got to be like a five K for something like specific, and then a costume that's like completely not related at all. Yeah, but we also said like some costumes were off limits, like no. Well, no, nothing offensive, like, not like a giant dick costume, but like. Why? See, that's that would be the number one costume to get because it's too shaped. like cliche. I feel like it's not even funny. It's just no a dick costume, are shaped like a dick. Yeah. <laughs> the best. Kinds. The best kinds. Yeah. So I don't know. I think nah, we'll we'll save that for a, a later date. And figure out the actual costume that's going to be used. Anyone need another uh, refill of wine? I gotta get that. Oh damn! Yeah, baby, slug me up. I'm gonna drink every time now. You <laughs> drink every time now. Okay. Well, we're bike. We are so bike. And. Shit, we finished that? Is it? Yeah, that was quick. We should do one episode and see how many we could polish off. <laughs> just all of them. Like 17. Blike out everywhere. Everyone okay. just starts with their own bottle and just drink from the bottle the whole time? I'm all in. I'm all right. Yeah, what, what are we well, I gotta get my snacks out now that I saw your comment. Yeah, snack time, baby. Snack time for Nikki Snacks Incorporated. Again, I forgot to introduce you guys. So, anyways, this is whatever. Nikki Snacks Incorporated, Max the Animal, Animal underscore BDGE, Snacks underscore BDGE on the Twatter. Mm. Go follow them. We're gonna jump into some general NFL football <laughs> bullshit. Max, what we got on the schedule? Uh, so the first thing I wanted to bring up was the um, the Vic Beasley interception. Sorry, what was that? It's a funny way to spell goat. Yeah. Oh my god. Falcons fan figures. So the by the Vic- way, they have the same record as Giants. Good. It's unbiased. The Vic Beasley touchdown. For those of you that saw it, mm-hmm. you know what I'm talking about. So here's what I saw when I saw it. So you know those those Make a Wish kids when they they give them the ball. You good? This is how much you don't give a fuck about your story. Right? So, I, I like where you're going with whatever. that, though. So, you know, like the Make-A-Wish kids, they give them the ball, and they run down the field, and like all the guys are behind them, and they're all... So they, it's Sports Center Top 10. Yeah, it's Sports Center Top 10. Kids running slow. They're all running with them. <laughs> no one wants to No one looks shot. like they're going to tackle. They're all just like running. They get in the end zone. Sell. That's what the Vic Beasley touchdown looked like to me. If you go back and watch it, hopefully you can like put it in here or something, and just watch. There's guys running next to him. Just not even tackling him. You know what it looked like to me? Do you remember, uh, like, actually, it might be like eight years ago at this point, the when the Seahawks were in the playoffs and Marshawn Lynch <clears throat> ripped off that ridiculous run, jumped in the playoff hole. Beastquake? Beast Two? Quake. Or one? Uh, there was one that was, like, incredible. The Seahawks got into the playoffs at, like, a 7-9 and nine or, like, an 8-8 eight and eight record or something. Against the Saints, yeah. Beast right. Quake 7-9. It, it was that it was one. Beast one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seven and Beast Quake 1. That's, that, that's what that reminded me of, that run. Yeah. I think they were on par. What, just nobody's... Well, he was actually was running... Like two, he was actually running people over, Marshawn Lynch. Vic Beasley was running next to people. Vic Beasley was like fucking spaghetti in that run. Like, fucking swiveling through people. Vic Beasley it was, sucks. It was bad. It was so bad. I don't, think don't make fun of Make a Wish kids either. Tried. I'm not making fun of the Make a Wish kids. I'm making fun of Vic Beasley looking like one. Wait, can huge I ask difference. You, can I? Can we get personal here? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Because this 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 actually came across my mind now that we bring this up. Shoot, I'm, I'm glad you did. So for those of y'all that don't know, um, I, our friend Nick here went through uh, cancer and, and chemotherapy, <laughs> and he and he. Why the fuck is he <laughs> 
<laughs> the way you said it, he went through cancer. He went through it like he ran fucking right through <laughs> yeah, it. Like yeah. a brick fucking wall, like a New York giant. Our friend right. beat cancer. Yeah. And for your, you know, your make a wish thing, why, tell him what you did because I have a follow up question. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll give a quick story. Um, So I was 16 years old and. um. <laughs> <laughs> and nice. uh, so they do a steam tongue yeah. inserting that into that part. <laughs> so they um my, my hospital Hackensack Hospital in New Jersey, the greatest hospital in the world. Um, they had told my social work told me that I was eligible for a Make a Wish. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I don't need to Make a Wish. Give it to somebody else. She goes, no, 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 no. You were chosen. Blah blah. blah. I was like, all right, I'll take a Make a Wish. She goes, so whatever. The Make a Wish ladies come over my house about a week later. They say, what do you you know you can have anything you want in the world. There's nothing you can't have. And I'm thinking, I'm like, I already know what the fuck I want. So and they, when they leave, my parents are talking about like vacation to Italy, um, you know, just a, like a family vacation that me, my brother, my mother and father could do. It would be nice. It would be really nice like yes. for the family and stuff because they've suffered with me. Yeah. They may not have lost their hair, okay. eyebrows, uh, pube hair, everything like that, but they were there right for me. Did you lose yeah. every inch of hair? I lost hair? every inch of hair. And oh, it was the God. greatest time because I never had to shave my balls. <laughs> it was awesome. Love it. But sure. anyway, it, oh, it was amazing. And I looked pretty good bald too. I also did. I also ran a... Um, a front yard wrestling league that we'll send the link for anyway. Um, EWF. EWF. We'll, we'll, get in, we'll get into that another we'll time. We'll get into the NFL, to be honest with you. It was amazing. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, yeah. So, they're like, they're talking about it. I'm like, guys, guys, guys. This is this this, this, this is my decision, and I know what I want. Um, if you couldn't tell, I'm a, I'm a diehard New York Giants fan. I'm, I'm a psychotic fuck when it comes to the Giants. It, Giants family breathing sex in that order. But... <laughs> I told him, I, and I'd never been a season ticket holder in my life. I love going to the games. I spend money on games. I love tailgating. I love getting rowdy. I get, I get thrown out of the stadium all the time. So I wanted to be called a giant season ticket holder for one year. They hate, my parents hated me because I made the wish. I said, I want to be a giant season ticket holder for a year. They were mad about that. It was my your parents wish, though. were so fucking wish. angry. It was right. my wish. You had every right. I had every right, and I did it. And the ladies were like, wait, What? What do you want? I'm like, I want to do sports things though. Like, no, I know, but it's crazy that they were so weird about it. But people like go and meet the players and stuff like this. Yeah. I uh, just wanted to be in the stands. Did yeah. you get like uh, any backstage time with the players? Like field or passes or anything? <laughs> oh, he's like, no, row 394. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did I get field passes? Yeah. So I already know this. So, <laughs> so the wish was so easy for them to accommodate for. They also gave me sideline passes for warm ups before every game. Every game. All ten, including the two preseason. I'll jump to the conclusion. I lasted three games on the on the field. Um, <laughs> I told I told disgraced former Carolina Panthers owner Jerry Richardson to go fuck himself. Uh, I was seventeen. I my hair was just growing back. You could tell I was just coming off cancer. And I, these players have me screaming in their face, telling them to go fuck themselves. I'll never forget. Keith Bullock signed a one year deal with the Giants that year. I thought it was a good signing at the time. The way he respect the way he. Treated me, I'll never fucking forget. I hope Keith Bullock's dead. Oh. He was so rude to me. He's, it it was it was terrible. Are you serious? He was so rude to me. <laughs> like legitimately rude. How? What did he say? I was just like Bullock, great sign, man, great sign. And he just like would look, wouldn't say anything. Then I'd scream to a mob Bradshaw. Bradshaw for three games. He would, he came out to me every single game. He gave me a big fucking hug. He went through like how you doing, how's how you feeling, all this shit. Gotcha. Good made, guy. God, dude, he Good was guy. Bradshaw Jacobs. They were amazing to me. They really were. Brandon Jacobs. Yo, cheers to fucking Brandon Jacobs. Right. The go, oh, man. That guy Brandon go? Jacobs. Jeez. God damn. Salute. Fuck. Beast. And so That's yeah, I got to really um. Karma bit me in the ass when I told Jerry Richardson to go fuck himself because that was the year Deshaun Jackson returned the punt to ruin the Giants' season. And I just so happened to be 10, 10 rows up in the uh, end zone oh, that he ran in. God, how so, did that not kill you at that time? I, yeah, dude, honest question. Like, dude, your heart didn't break in half. I asked Chris Farley. He was sitting next to me. Chris, Chris Farley's a friend, not the dead one. Um, <laughs> I, I, like, I like collapse. That. I like collapse, literally. Really? Yeah, it was bad. I, um, so, so my follow-up question to shoot. that. Say, uh, God forbid, I'm not saying I won't want this to happen or anything, but... If it did happen again, Correct. and they were like, Nick, we're going to give you another make a wish. You could do anything you want with it. We're going to, I mean, I mean, you could answer it however you want, but assuming that it was sports related, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously you would do something with Trent Richardson, but we're going to put that off the table For right? Now. because I want a, a different answer. Should I put out Adam Thielen too? Is he uh, no, I'm just going to ask, like, would it be Adam Thielen related? You know what? What would your fucking follow I'm, up make a wish? I'm at the point now where I have everything I want. Um, I'm pretty much banned from Giant Stadium. Like I, I can go to the games, but they would never let me anywhere near. They, it's just, it's just, it, there's too much toxicity there. 
Um, I would really want, I would wish, since I love you guys and I love what we're doing, I would wish for Adam Thielen to come on this podcast. That's, yeah? That would be my make-a-wish. That would be fucking epic. So we can hope that I got cancer again. Yes. Skin cancer. All right, so everyone pray. Everyone, everyone pray everyone I get cancer. or listening, Let's go. pray that Nick gets cancer again. <laughs> Hashtag is get cancer. Hope, <laughs> we need Adam Thielen on the pod. We need Adam Thielen on the pod. Listen, you guys, you can make this happen. Pretend like I have cancer. Uh, maybe, you know, whatever. I like He's that. not going to watch, but pretend. Cancer for snacks. Cancer, cancer for snacks. Yeah. Right? That's pretty good. Cancer for snacks. Oh, my God. And keep tweeting at Adam Thielen, dude. Dude, this guy loves you, man. He has cancer. He has cancer. He just wants you to go Again, on the pod. Two minute phone you're call. Crossing your fingers before you fucking do it or something. <laughs> at this point, there this is, is nothing funny. sports related that I could do that would really benefit me. Okay. There really wouldn't. So Thielen would be it. I want Adam Thielen on this podcast. You know what? That popped into my head like randomly throughout this week, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna bring it up next time, but I didn't want to just be like, yo, Nick, about you having cancer and shit. If you had to do it again, it's literally yeah, perfect. It such a good segment. Holy we, shit, this chemistry, man. <laughs> this chemistry. This is fucking fire. We did not plan that. He was life. literally telling that, us that before we went on the air, and we're like, that's hysterical. So we said it, and sure enough. Fucking money, baby. Adam, Fe- I'm gonna tweet him right now. Do it. You should just you know, I have cancer. Day. Will you come on my phone? <laughs> dude, I've been tweeting at his wife. Like, this is so amazing. <laughs> you got Oh, like your foundation's amazing. You guys should get more recognition. What do you think he was tweeting her? Dude, it's his. <laughs> yeah. like half of the Twitter community when it comes to football. Well, so. That should be another segment going down the list of people on blog. You better be by. massaging Adam's fucking to calves to tonight. <laughs> like, if we went each week, somebody... Wait, to try and get blocked should, by like, somebody? Have a, yeah, like have a segment where it's like, who didn't it get blocked by this week? We could try that, but there's a lot of people that like Schefter, Strahan, Aaron Andrews, all these people. There's a lot of people that you kind of need to follow, though, so mm-hmm. you want to you know, still now, be in the know. Now that, I have a new t- now that I have a new Twitter, snacks underscore BDG... Now that I have a new Twitter, I'm not blocked by anybody. They'll never know. That's why I was like, uh, Incarcerated Bob blocked me on my personal Twitter. Really? But he doesn't block oh. me on my on the big That's Twitter. weird. Shout out to Bob, man. We've been loyal fans since what, like 2009? I think I like argued 2010? with him about one thing. Yeah. And I was probably like right, so he blocked me. Yeah. It's fucking bullshit. Anyways. I, I enjoy Bob. Uh, yeah, I do too. But yeah, that's my uh, make-a-wish. That was my make-a-wish story. I had cancer. Oh, yeah. Um, I had cancer. Yeah, it's some, some hard-hitting stuff right there. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. It's a tough time for you. Made you guys use up all your tissues. I uh, I got my red hair all the way back though. I also have my pubes back, which is looking gorgeous. So, (laughs) So guys, don't make. In case you were wondering, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Um, what did we have next on the agenda? Was it big facts? Uh, we can do the big facts. The only other thing I was going to mention was the flag, but if you want, we don't have to. We could talk about the flags. Anything else that happened in the games? Uh, I mean, I think the most obvious one is the the blatant missed false start. Phillip oh Rivers my god, touchdown. dude! I mean, like these refs are so. It can even segue into the flags. It's bad. It's so bad. It's bad. It's uh, they're legitimately changing games. The, the, so you what? know what it is though. The, yeah. You know what I'm happy about? Like the beginning of the season, or at least the preseason, when they were doing the quarterback, you know, hitting the quarterback late and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's calmed down tremendously. Yes. It has. Oh yeah. Yes. yes. Which kind of knew that was going to happen because there was new rule. They were just like, we're going to fucking nail did, this but, rule. But like you complaining about this now is fucking irrelevant because refs are bad every year. Oh, oh I know. No, they, but they I mean are. that was a scoring that changed the whole game. Yeah, I think I it made it better. I, I'm sorry. It, they were. I think bad. it made the game better. They were bad last year, but I think it's to a different level this year. They are. In a, in a league that is so, the only way they stay employed or get hired is wins and losses. Refs are winning and losing games. Yes, that's every year. It's I'm this telling is the same thing. This like is it's like, worse this year. Is, this year. Like it is every year. This year is crazy. It's absolutely like, every fucking year is crazy. I don't disagree, but I think it is escalated to the point. I think of it's at the worst ridiculousness it's ever been. this Dude, year. It's probably because the players are getting faster and stronger and it's Of course, no, of course, of course. The decisions they need to make. Well, and there's no way in hell I'd be able to be an NFL like, referee. You have to run offensive Vic game. Easily running balls back. How are you going to fucking? You can't even see those with your human eyes. I completely understand what you're saying, and it has been bad every year. I just think this year. Maybe it's uh, like I, I don't know what it is, but for some reason it seems twenty times worse. The Saints got they lost the game pretty much. Well, I mean that's not why they lost the game, but no, that was that was horrible. That was a whole other. They knocked Kamara right out of the game. Yeah, helmet to helmet, no, was it was clear as day. Of, yeah, that was a bad one. Yeah, which is crazy because no. they don't. They usually don't. They go out of their way to make calls on hits like that. You know what I mean? Like it, even when it's like semi controversial, but that's my, always go towards the. Head. That's my point exactly. So yeah. th- th- there's got to be some sort of agenda. So. I mean, I have a, a solution, I believe, to, you know, so this is the standard flag that is used. An actual NFL referee gave yeah, us that. Yeah, this is from uh, Ed Hockley. He gave it, he gave to, it us. to us. He said, good luck. When he retired, he said, here you go. 
And uh, so now we have it, and we you know we throw it around and shit. It's fun. I get that's why they do it because you know you just you know it's fun. It is fun. I get it. Time. It's yeah, definitely fun to abuse it. I'd throw that shit. So all the time. my solution is make it a bigger flag. Hopefully you can throw in that gif where it's a, from NASCAR. So NASCAR uses a yellow flag where it is like a it's a fucking flag. It's big. You gotta wave it, right? So now imagine the refs on the sideline with this big ass flag. They're not gonna want to call all these penalties because they gotta run on the field waving a giant flag. You think just like the physical fucking matter of the flag is just like the laziness factor is gonna yeah, just like, not make calls anymore? That's easy. You think but now I got George is a ref. This is fucking, <laughs> I ain't gonna stop nobody. I'm telling you, man, they're not gonna want to wave that shit around. Ed fourth Hawkins, quarter. You see these refs? These refs are bigger than the fucking players. They're, huge. they're all sixty years old. All they do is work out all fucking day. They're, they're huge. They, can they run do. Up and down the field. They yeah. definitely all get huge bicep pumps before they go out there. Yeah, I don't think the flags would be a problem for them. I just think it would be a nuisance and be like, ah, fuck it, I let this one go. I don't want to wave that shit. That, yeah, that, that might you. be a solution to the problem. I'm You'll not see. upset about it. I'll change in the game. I think it's fucking absurd, but like, you know what? You just, know, all you we know, do is, is throw proposals out there. That's it. That's, I, I will, I'm going to write a letter to Roger Goodell. I'm going to send it to him with that gif. And um, he'll see it. And maybe by next year, you'll see refs running on the field with giant flags. Who knows? Hey, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. If Let's that see. happens, I swear to God. It'd be epic. Imagine we started the big flag Dude. fucking... Big flags only. Big, big, big flags only. <laughs> big flags only. Yeah. We got big snaps there we go. only. Big facts only. Big, flag, hey, big flags got a wave, man. Segues yeah. right into the big facts only. A segment that we're doing every single week where I'm bringing you big <laughs> facts only. Some of the craziest stats that I found while doing my research and or stealing facts from other people on Twitter that I thought were interesting. And I bring value to your lives because at the end of the day, it's all we're trying to do here, right? That's it. First big fact of the day Let's is hear. pertaining to Gus Edwards. So... Over the last three weeks, Gus Edwards has pretty much taken over that featured role in Baltimore, right? Or at least, like, the workhorse there. Yeah, then between the tackle. Three games. Three games, right? His carry total has been 17, 23, 21. 61 total carries through three games. 132 snaps. (laughs) Has not registered a single target through 132 snaps. I feel like that's kind of mind blowing when that you think about is, 132 snaps. It's crazy. Literally that's like that's like imagine a fl- all right. So a, a typical NFL team plays about 60 to 70 snaps in a game. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine having one running back on the field that never leaves a field because that's what 132 snaps is, yep. and not seeing a single target through two full games. Question: The Cowboys. It's, 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 it's actually insane. The these league. are both these games were with Lamar Jackson, right? Correct. Correct. Now, do you think that's because yep, Lamar I looked at the percentages, man? They just doesn't check some down. Backs, and you could look at it actually. For great resource for you guys, uh, sharpfootballstats.com. I don't know if you're you're following uh, Warren Sharp on Twitter. Warren Sharp. Warren Sharp. I will Best follow him in, in, in the world, in my opinion, right now. Yeah. Where he is, but I think some people you know should pass him. But he's a great fucking player. Fucking do it right now. Um, sharpfootballstats.com. You could literally look up pretty much any stat. You can go pray, uh, play frequency. <laughs> Target rate by position, and I'm going to look up what's he been the quarterback uh, week 11, 12, 13, right? Lamar, uh, did he yeah, come in like mid 13. 11? Well, I don't remember. Did he start 11, 12? He's, he's 3 0, 11, 11, 12, 13. Oh, he started, yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm going to look up the target percentage numbers to the positions in those three weeks. Baltimore, wow. Okay, actually, that percentage is 16%. The league average is 20%. They're at 16, uh, but all of those are going to Ty Montgomery pretty much. Um, but they were one of the they were one of the teams that had always targeted their running backs like really heavily. So I was just saying, 132 snaps, zero targets for Gus Edwards. That's a big fucking fact. In today's league, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. Don't everyone uses the running backs in passing games. Second Don't. big fact, and this was the one that kind of blew my mind. I tweeted this out. You guys might have seen this, but uh, through 12 games this year, James Conner has played in 12 games this year. He has 15 goal line carries, 15 carries inside the five yard line, second in the NFL. Le'Veon Bell. The last three seasons combined that he's played, not including this year, so 2017, 16, 15, a total of 33 games, 14 goal line carries. Same. So through three seasons prior to this year, Bell had 14 goal line carries. Connor, through 12 games this year, has 15. I don't know what that says about the Steelers. I don't know what like that says about Bell. I think Bell's a bitch. Zam. Wow. Sorry. Big Go ahead. Zam. That is a... Unbelievable stat, though. Right? That's, that's kind of <laughs> I did it. When, when you tweeted that out, and I read it, I was like, what? Yeah. Three years of Bell, less goal line we, we always used to, year. We always would say, like, even just, like, in talking, whatever, like, Bell never gets goal line carries. But to actually hear that out loud is Three years, it's right? absurd. 
33 games. Almost Goal three. line as in inside as in, the five yard line. Inside the, now, do you think that's because nah, I was, I'm just playing devil's advocate, but they pass more with Bell? Pass more, and like he will score from like 10 yards out when they hand him the ball instead. You know, like because he's, he's very, very good possible. in that red zone area. They could do that Connor gets stuffed and they give him another one. Yeah, so exactly. It could be, but like a three year period is it's almost three times as many games. Oh, it's just yeah. insane. And the fact yeah, no, that it's crazy. Pittsburgh's been a really good offense, so they're always in scoring opportunities, yeah. you know? It's kind of crazy to me. Um, this third big fact stole from Adam Leviton. Great fucking follow on Twitter. If you don't follow him, suggest to do that. What was that? Russell <laughs> Adam Leviton. I'm going to follow that right now. Russell Wilson is 24th in the NFL in pass attempts this year. He is fourth in passing touchdowns. He is creeping up. He started off slow, but he is fourth in passing touchdowns right now. Apparently. What? That's what Adam Leviton tweeted. That Seahawk team is very surprising. Let me see. Yeah, right? dude. Russell Wilson is, has 29, Breeze 30, Luck 32, Mahomes 41. <clears throat> so Russell Wilson has, is 24th in pass attempts, 4th in man. passing touchdowns. That is so. Well, last week he was like, well, was he was a, like six for six. For like there was three a, touchdowns. a point. Also, yeah, it was like it's also because their running backs don't score rushing touchdowns. No, they don't. Yeah, yeah. Last year was crazy. Chris Carson's killed me so many times in that goal line. Last year they had thirty six total touchdowns as a team. One of them was a running back touchdown. Yeah. One of them was a rushing. Uh, while we're on wow. Seattle and their running backs, do you is, have you heard anything about Chris Carson? Yeah, he's expected I, he's to play. Good. Is he? Yeah. I mean that that backfield is is very. I'm yeah. staying away from that whole backfield. I don't do. I Carson's really good. He's, I like he's Penny. He's good, but it just opened up Roto World. Deshaun Jackson. It's quite possible the Bucks hold Deshaun Jackson out the range of the season. Fucking called that on my video on Monday. Really? I don't think they're putting. I think they're going to send him to the IR. Wow, Adam Humphreys, it's, big boost. No, Godwin's about to go. <laughs> no big boost. Chris, Chris, Chris Godwin, Chris Godwin over so Adam good. Humphreys. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I think I did. Oh no, I think I did see something about that. What? Deshaun Jackson. I, I, this is brand new now, but I just assumed it over the weekend. It's like, dude, he like played in the week before, and then all of a sudden, like he started getting worse and worse, and then he saw a specialist. It's mm-hmm. like, dude, it's not just like a rest thing. It's like something's fucked up there. You know? Fuck Deshaun Jackson Facts. for life. That's um, a big fact, motherfucker. Yeah. So go pick up Chris Godwin. Go pick up Adam Humphreys. I actually, right now. I tweeted out the ideal fantasy uh, playoff um, roster. Roster. And uh, it got 562 retweets, 600 replies saying they all agree with it. Um, and Adam Humphreys is my wide receiver two in that. So Who's your one? Thielen? Uh, Thielen, yeah. Who's your, what's the rest of the lineup? Uh, it's Philip Rivers quarterback, wide receiver one, Thielen, two, Humphreys, Christian McCaffrey, Saquon Barkley, George Kittle, Julian Edelman, Lamar Miller, and Eli Manning. Why Lamar Miller? Uh, I think he... I always thought he was a little bit of a pussy for some reason this year. I don't know why. I really like the way he's playing. I think he's been a lot tougher, and I reward toughness. I reward <laughs> toughness and heart. The Texans just as a whole. I, just- I'm really impressed. And I put Eli in there because he's a two-time Super Bowl MVP, and I know he knows what it takes to get it done down the stretch. Interesting. Lamar Miller, by the way, another big fact. He is uh, second in the NFL in rushing over the last six weeks, <clears throat> going behind Zeke. So I have rode him into the NYC playoffs pretty much. Thank, thank God he's, for the ball. He's... If Gordon's out, he's playing over Eckler. Not okay. like it really matters. I'm going to rattle yeah. off two more big facts right now. Shoot. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. We'll go Here. quick. We'll go quick. Philip Lindsay has averaged over seven yards per carry on double-digit carries in three straight weeks. That's the longest such streak for a running back since Fred Taylor in 2007. The only two streaks in 2000s for running backs. That is per Rich Rebar of Roto World. Um, and the last big fact of the week. Games with four touchdown passes or more since 2004. 49ers, one. Jets, three. Ravens, four. Rams and Dolphins, five. Cardinals, Browns, six. Titans, Bears, Panthers, Bills, seven. This is the number of games these teams have had with four passing touchdowns or more since 2004. 49ers, Jets, Ravens, Rams, Dolphins, Cardinals, Browns, Titans, Bears, Panthers, Bills, seven or less. This year, Patrick Mahomes, seven. (laughs) He has as many this year as those 10 franchises in the last 15 years, oh basically. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> you are a fucking god. That's I crazy. Prayed, I, you know what? I want cancer. I want to meet Pat Mahomes. <laughs> I, want cancer. I, want, I want Pat Mahomes. You know, you know what sucks now that we're, we're over 18, we can't get Make-A-Wishes. But if yeah, we, I was going to say that we, before. Oh, that's a rule? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, it's for kids. I was going to say that before, but I just wanted it to. You it know, just why hit, don't we start a it, fucking it, thing where it, we can make this bro, happen for adults? Oh, my God. Bro, That's I mean, a great idea. What the? F- no what one the cares about adults. Disagree. I care about me. Disagree. Me I'm upset. It, it hit me just like. 
two minutes ago. I yeah, thought I it was immediately, was but I was just letting it. I figured, you know, you guys both knew that and we're just playing along. No, I had no idea. But I, yeah. I mean, my comment I still goes. It. If we were, if I was asked if I wanted to make a wish, like for shit yeah. and giggles, some kid didn't want it, so they gave it to you. Yeah, but I mean, they don't care about you anymore. They'll just let you die. Sam. Sorry. I don't want to even give them treatment. Honestly, anymore. I probably no. just want to die too. <laughs> you already had this so one. Like this, Sorry. So this conversation about you meeting Adam Thielen can't even happen anymore. I still want the hashtag for snack cancer for snacks. Just yeah. listen. Okay, it's not a make a wish. If we're not going through the make a wish foundation, we're doing it from them. They're the only ones that can you help. You guys me. are supporting this. And I guys, my jacket on. It's cold as a mole. Remember, oh, yeah, I I really, you can close that window. I, that, that one. Roll what, it. What the fuck is going on? What are we, a bunch of pussies? Yeah, I got out of the shower after wrestling. It was so hot. I had to crack the window a little after bit. After wrestling, you, you coach a bunch of whoa. idiots. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, you still coaching Emerson? A bunch of champions. Are you still coaching Emerson? Yeah, dude. Oh, then I'm sorry. No, champions. Champions. Love you that. Love yeah. Emerson. Stay champs. Love that. Stay champs. Guys, those are the only big facts I have. Let's move on. Wish we had more wine. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was really good. We'll each bring a bottle next week. Right. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna have to travel. I use this. BYO BYO bottle. That'd be a B, yeah. Just B B Y O B. I know, <laughs> I know it is B Y O B. You tried to like, be witty there and it just backfired yeah. into your, your own cooch. Go fuck your fucking selves. All right, so we're going to move on to the locks of the century. Um, <clears throat> so apparently they're not as, as locky as, as we anticipated. Disagree. Yeah. So I still have so much confidence in the two games I'm going to pick. I mean, the confidence in, in a lock, like the definition of a lock is that nothing can pass through it. Like, it, you know, it needs to be a winner. Can I, have it, uh, can I explain my lock last week? Read the situation wrong. Um, <laughs> Why don't you recap them on what it was? What our Explain. Picks so, all right. So, our picks. So, we had Nicky e over here. We had him going with Atlanta minus one against Baltimore. Uh, they were home, going up against backup quarterback in his third game and a rookie backup quarterback, I should say. And as I've been telling him all year, Atlanta sucks dick. And that's what you saw. Max. Was our nothing. All I saw was Vic Beasley. Okay, wrong. <laughs> Max was our only winner. Um, he had Denver minus four and a half in Cincinnati. That's fine. Whatever. You take your NFL wins, I'll take my fucking fantasy wins, baby. Ooh. Max does have more wins than you, Nick, though, yeah, so let's just, relax. Yeah. Anyway. Wait, wait, he, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Did we decide where I'm going to spend my hundred dollars for having the most points in our league yet, or no? You haven't won that yet either. Not, that's not official. Go. What, what if I blow up this week? Europe. So Max won. I, mean, I lost with Carolina. I told said. you to put your mortgages on it. Um, <laughs> hope you didn't. <laughs> but here's what I also said because I reviewed the tape. I told you to put your limbs, your nuts, everything you fucking own outside your mortgage because that was for Carolina. But you would have won it back if you followed my three team ten point titty teaser. And that was Kansas City minus five, which we had to sweat. We yeah. had to sweat that the they needed that, that last score. Of course. Close, right? right? Of course. This was pre Kareem Hunt beating the shit out of women, though. No, no, no. Yeah, no. yeah it was. was. Oh, the pick was. Yeah, the, the pick, pick was. was. The pick yeah. was, you yes. Think, you You're think right. The, you think like it's that's in their head a little bit in terms of being on the field? The Chiefs as a team? Yeah. Yes, 100%. 100%. I don't think so. Oh, I think you're wrong. Yeah, crazy. I think five points. I think that fucked them up. They played like they should have almost lost that game. Yeah, They're lucky the Raiders are atrocious. And then I had the Rave, the Rams, and the Seahawks in uh, essentially pickums. So the Titty Teaser won my uh, LTC loss. So I'm good. I'm fine. Nick's not. Max is good. One and zero, baby. Put that You're up on there. You made two bets. I didn't make. I want two you bets. to put it up on the screen. Yeah, but that, I'm one fine. and zero. Zero and one. I don't really know what to. Count me as zero and one. My teasers are something else because I'm going to do a three team ten point. Titty, titty teaser each week because I think titties are their own category. <clears throat> yes, titties are their own category. So Nick, my lock of the I'm, I'm going to scale it back a little bit and say lock of the decade. All right, not the century. Okay, because Fair. because it's on the bills and you never want to. <laughs> you never want to bet. No a, one circles the wagons. No one wants to bet a century worth of mortgages on the bills. But minus three and a half at home. Listen, the Bills defense is tough. The Jets yes. have no running game. They're getting Donald back this week, probably. He fucking sucks anyways. He the Bills' suck. pass defense will shut him down. I like them yeah. being at home. I think the Bills' mafia gets fucking rowdy. If anyone out there is watching or listening and you're in the Bills' mafia, I need you to make shit happen on Sunday. I need this LOTC dub. That team plays hard. Dude, they do. They and, play and really you know hard. What? Allen, uh, a- Allen... Playoff team last year. He fucking yeah. sucks at, at throwing the ball. I mean, you know, so give or take. You know, he has some good throws. He has some some bad throws. The, the running is, is crazy. He wasn't a big rusher in college. No. Just, statistically, he wasn't where he is right now. But listen, he's getting it done. This Jets defense, 
they don't have a there's no yeah. identity or strong point on this Jets that team. team quit too. them on the road the, the, playing in Buffalo three and nine like what <clears throat> like how I see no way yeah. that the only way that they cover this is if the game is three to nothing at the end of the game and they literally get three and literally that you have little bitch ginger fuck Sam Darnold shouldn't be a giant so glad we drafted Saquon he's going on the road in probably frigid degree weather after coming from USC the guys and played in three Good weeks call. love that lock I like that okay so Buffalo minus three and a half lock it down maxi poo animal so i've been struggling a lot with trying to figure out this pick and i'm gonna make it easy for myself and i'm just gonna just keep it going denver broncos <laughs> minus six at san fran why is that easy for yourself that's a lose lose if you lose well no because listen the broncos are hot right now They're playing well. so hot right now and console. and san fran's just not good they and the broncos good. know they need to win so they're gonna go out and win. But that just doesn't. That's just not good analysis. I mean, that's that's really all <laughs> the there is. It's super simple. The Broncos know they need to win. <laughs> I'm not gonna break. I'm not giving you big facts. I'm not gonna break it down for you with stats or anything like that. It's simple. He just picks winners. You know the what? Broncos are a better team than the 49ers, and Nick Mullins is. Is he gonna be their quarterback again this week? Is he, are they just gonna let him ride it out? I feel like they should. Not I feel like Thard was the goat. I feel like CJ Gothard was fucking doing I mean, his thing. Future Giants quarterback. I don't know what the deal is. The only thing I worry about with the Broncos is the Chris Harris injury oh, and the, yeah. the lack of defense that might be going on in the secondary. You know what blows my mind? How, like, there's multiple injuries like that this week where they're like, broken fucking full leg fibula. Yeah. Be oh. back in three weeks. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. Like, he may, oh, he, like he's not a, he's not like a weight bearing He may pass why. away, but he should be back by the yeah. end of the season. Yeah, he'll it's be like, back on the field in the fourth it's quarter. It's ridiculous. Out of control. So, so you're, you're laying the, you're, you're going mm-hmm. with your home squad again. I'm going to do it, yeah. You know the team better than any of us. Any of them. Guarantee you that. Well, they usually, I mean, I don't want to say they disappoint me because the Broncos are you know, Super Bowl champions. We win a lot. We're I've really won twice team. in my life. So, I mean, maybe they'll let me down here, but I seriously doubt it. So, lock of the century, Denver Broncos, minus six. Take it. Take it to the bank. All the way. You know, I see them at five and a half. You can get even better odds where I'm at. Yeah, five and a half. Look at that. If, yep. you have, if you have five and a half, take that. And this is this we are going based off an opening line. These are sure to change a little bit. So seriously, get them the fuck in now and get this mortal lock of the Ooh. millennium. Oh my god, he went mortal M. He went with his double M's. Oof, Marshall, he fuck double fucking M's. Oh the lock of the mother fucking millennium. It's gonna be terrible. <laughs> Indianapolis Colts plus four and a half on the road against the Houston Texans. Why? Well, I'm going to get to that. The Houston Texans are playing way too good. I love them. I think they're great. I'm a big fan. I'm a big Deshaun Watson fan. Always loved them. Uh, I'm a huge Andrew Luck fan, and I think I think that game was, was, was not who they were last week. They lost to a shitty Jaguar team on the road at 1 o'clock, um, even though they're in the same time zone. But... Um, I just think that I don't think that was the Colts. That offensive line is playing too good. That defense is playing much better. I think this is a 30-33 game. I it's a division game. Um, the you Colts. Take, you should take the over under forty eight and a half. Not doing it. Over this, under for what? I is this expected. a must win for the Colts? This is a must win for the Colts. If they lose, their, their season is pretty much done. Yeah. And I don't think they're going to go out like that. I I dabble on the money line too. That's L, that's LOTC. This is LOTM. Anyway, <laughs> big, I'm going with the Indianapolis difference. Colts. They are going to cover the four and a half, and they probably win the game too and if you don't mind as i did last week i have another three team can i interrupt there real quick please fantasy perspective oh so you know my situation not like it matters i think i'm gonna win but like if, if you had to play cause i feel like i'm gonna get this question a million times andrew luck or Jameis winston again andrew luck actually yeah he's on the road against houston and yeah. where's winston uh mm, dude winston's home against saints 56 over under no mm. I feel like the Saints are coming hard this week. They're coming for blood they after week one. They lost to Dallas last week. Winston's throwing up a 400. Spot. Tampa. I, I, well, I, I'm playing Winston in two leagues in the playoffs next Tampa week. Tampa was three interceptions. They're only lost this year, four right? Seven. Well, before Dallas. The week one. Yeah, yeah right? Mm-hmm. Week one, Tampa stomped them. I think Saints are coming with a vengeance. They're going to... I don't think you're going to... But, gonna, I, but I, th- I still think that's going to mean stats for Winston. Like, you re- you your actually, floor, you your f- play Luck on the road against Houston over Winston at home against... In that dome, yeah, it would. I think, Luck's do, I, I, think Luck's due for, I think Luck's due for a big bounce back. Some garbage time coming your way, probably, 100%. for Winston. At home, garbage time. There's also garbage time th- throw up Hail Mary picks. He could go three touchdowns, three picks. Yeah. yeah we don't plan it. Yeah, I guess, but... I, I, I mean, don't think you could really go wrong. Nah. It, yeah. And like you said, it doesn't matter, so... 
True. Um, you interrupted my three team ten point titty teaser. I'm you know, a little. I thought we talk a little fantasy every now and then. I guess they get mad at me for talking fantasy on a fucking fantasy football channel. Go yeah. Ahead well, and when we're in the pick segment, the only thing I will let you interrupt me for fantasy football is titty. So go ahead. Yeah. This, <laughs> these are titties we're talking about. Okay. Anyway, three team ten point titty teasers. It's as easy as this. You're gonna take the Pittsburgh Steelers minus one. You're gonna take the Philadelphia Eagles plus fourteen, and you're gonna take the New York Giants plus twelve and a half. That is. There is nothing in this world that's going to be easier than collecting that money if you hit that teaser. Two NFC when you hit teams. that teaser. I don't trust that. I, I just want to make a general statement for the public. He is probably biased towards the NFC East, so don't put your mortgage on it. It's not a fucking lock of the millennium, whatever. No, that's the Colts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is the game that this teaser is not going to lose. It's actually going to it's There gonna is win. a zero percent chance <laughs> this titty teaser loses. Wow. Lock it down. I can't wait for you to lose all. Record that. It's fucking. Play it next week. Reason the camera right there. (laughs) Oh yeah. Record that. Yeah. I am telling you, I'll bet you everything. I'll run a mile on camera if that titty teaser loses. Oh my god, I love this deal. In, I don't even think you can last a mile. Yeah. You're dead. Well, I'm jogging. I'm not sprinting it. Yeah, you can even walk a mile. You can do whatever you want. Can I have a water in my hand? Mile. Sure. Okay. Deal. If this loses, bet. Deal. Bet. Bet. I don't know what the fuck we well, have. Yeah, it's but empty, but okay. yeah, sure. Guess that means y'all heard it. Don't count. Um, fuck. We didn't make. We didn't put any anything on the line for uh for Adam Thielen under sixteen and a half, did we? No. We, we just didn't. like talked about it. It was fifteen and a half. We had a little side bet in a. Uh, oh, what did he? Uh, 11, 11 Ooh. something. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Doesn't matter. We didn't put anything on it. Who no. bet? Who took what? I, I took the over fifteen. And yeah. Half. Who do you think would take what there? That's true. <laughs> That's true. It's easy. Uncle Bill's in his head. Locked him down. I know. Uh, yeah, I will say, um, as much as I love that's the man. We call, that's what we call an Uncle Bill lock of the century. Yeah, un- un- the Uncle century. Bill, Uncle Bill. There was some some fiery stuff going on this week. You oh, know. Between Thielen and Bill, Jerry Hughes and the fucking referees. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. right. Like, I'm coming for you. Dude, the one ref called him a bitch and he said, I'm coming for you. Yeah. Like, dude, one Jerry, ref called him a bitch. Jerry, yeah, well, allegedly. Yeah. Well, actually, I, I read a funny tweet. I think it was from Ryan Russillo. I've got to give him credit. because I suspend Jerry Hughes. I, I know Ryan Russillo listens to the pod, so I want to make sure yeah, I give him so credit. <laughs> <laughs> um, when Thielen was barking at Bill and Bill was barking back, I, Thielen, uh, Russell tweeted, he goes, that exchange from Bill Belichick and Adam Thielen is just frustration out of the fact that they're not together with each other or something Probably, like that. Probably, yeah. Because could you imagine? Oh, that? It's a match oh, made in heaven. You know he wants Thielen. Thielen would be wide receiver one. Oh, my say. God. He'd be the greatest receiver of all time, even though he is already. Just saying. I'm pissed. All right. We got anything left on the agenda? Uh, I got right. week 14 LOTCs and then... End. Yeah, I think we ended Sorry, with the picks guys. last week. Sorry, too. that's it. We ended with the lock. Fuck Urban Meyer. He's yeah, a fucking yeah. cocksucker. He deserves to stay retired. Max I Rand. hate him. I no, I swear to God, I hated him after what he did to Florida. Take I don't away. even give Take a shit away. about Florida. No, I'm. It's just very annoying. I know this is NFL podcast, but he is such a scumbag. Did you watch his pot? Is this podcast his fucking press conference today? When I'm smirking like a little fuck. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I'm getting. I'm getting the cool down. I, sometimes I get off like this. It hasn't happened yet. No, no, no. The cool down's fine. I'm just went back away from the mic. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, if you guys heard all that, I'm sorry. I I can't stand him because you know he's gonna be fucking coaching either next year or the year after in the NFL or somewhere. He's where do you retired. think he's gonna go? I don't give a shit where he goes. <laughs> I'm not gonna root for him. If he was the Giants coach, I. What if he comes in as like Giants coordinator, like consigliere? Wait, breaking no. news. Breaking news. Big fact only. Beep boop beep boop beep boop. The best weekly. Actually, I'm gonna put it over under. The best weekly fantasy finish by a quarterback this year when facing the Arizona Cardinals is quarterback what? Wait, I don't get wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. So again. a fantasy quarterback facing the Cardinals, what's their best finish this entire year? 13. So, like as in points? Okay, so say Aaron like, Rodgers plays like, against fucking Arizona, right? He throws 492 yards, 84 touchdowns. He's going to be quarterback one in fantasy. Yeah, yes. Okay. Gonna, the I'll, highest finish this year is what? I'll say QB 13. Yeah, I'll go QB 11. I know they've been pretty good. It's QB 10. Fuck. I, I, I just thought like not one single quarterback has been wow. higher There's than Price is right rules, right? I guess. I win. Whatever. You both fucking lose. I'm sitting I'm sitting Kenny Galladay, by the way. That's that's yeah. an all-league. Yeah. He's Whatever. got Patrick Peterson. The only player they throw the ball to is Galladay. Well, that's not who the only He doesn't shadow. He's going to get yeah, locked he's in. he's not going to shadow. He's not going to shadow. They don't shadow. That's not their scheme no more. That's right. They got the new fuck. I'm not telling you who you should and shouldn't start because. Oh, I don't care. I'm in the playoffs. No, you're not. Is there any way I can not be in the playoffs? George outscored. I think George scores like 300 points. Basically, <laughs> like 
<laughs> him? No, because you one of you guys would lose and still have a worse record than it is. Yeah. So no way. I don't think. No, I think. But, you're but I didn't. Unless, Eric, I didn't clinch yet. Unless so. Eric, no, no. Yeah. It'd be me, Eric, George, and one of you guys won, and then we'd all have to score like two hundred more points. Well, whoever's like way lower yeah. than is that you're, outscoring. You're in. No, you're not. I'm. I, I'd be nervous. I'd be fucking scared. All right, well, that's going to be it for this week's Get Down, Get Down, Be Real. I'll tell you what, this is quickly becoming my favorite piece of content. I love it. This is a good time. I had a really good time. I want to really do this more. If you guys, yeah, dude, I would honestly push it twice a week. Let's do it. If you guys enjoyed this episode half as much as we enjoyed making it, then make sure you give us that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new. Follow Snacks, follow Animal, follow myself on all of the goddamn <clears throat> social medias if you want. And if you're an Ohio State fan and you have any problems with what I said about that <laughs> so piece upset. of shit, Urban Meyer, <laughs> fucking tweet me. I would love to engage with you. Oh, we throw fists Fuck cuffs. Urban Meyer. We'll, th we'll throw a bite. Piece of shit. We're out. Peace. Wow. Wow.